Imagine a local science fair, but on steroids. That's pretty much what Fredericton hosted this week. Some of the brightest young minds in science, 465 students from across the country in town to showcase their findings and their inventions. And our Catherine Harrop was right there with them. And it's that simple? Really that simple. I developed a novel predictive diagnosis for Parkinson's disease through machine learning. Shunak Gray calls it health check. He has patents pending. He is in grade 11. That's the caliber of students at the Canada-wide science fair, like this 16-year-old, who takes the top prize by coming up with a possibly better way to have the body's immune cells tackle cancer cells. In my project, I was working with leukemic cancer and breast cancer. So I targeted my uh, treatment against those very cancers. However, theoretically speaking, um, it could target any type of cancer. How about Leonardo Tue, who, along with his sister, wrote a mathematical program that uses machine learning to predict flooding. We were actually able to uh, predict the peak of the flood this year. River, uh, Riverwatch EMO, they thought the, uh, the river was going to go down, but you know, we predicted that it was going to go above last year's peak. So. Uh, they also created a map using topographical information to show you specifically if you were going to be standing on dry land this season. They hope EMO gives them a call. Intact Insurance has. There was a study on background noise stress on youth. What I found was that young adults were just as at risk as any other at risk group. It was a device that would help the police more easily detect THC in saliva. Yes, marijuana testing. Essentially, this would fit down into a device like this. There was a device that would allow the blind to sense objects, just like a backup alert on your car. So it replaces the sense of sight by conveying that spatial information and obstacle information from around the user through the form or in the form of vibrations. The students will take home around $1 million in scholarships, internships and cash. 465 students with ideas to better the world or better our understanding of it. The top three winners of this competition will go on to the 2019 European Union contest, which happens in Bulgaria in the fall. Catherine Harrop, CBC News, Fredericton.